about all this other real shit. Y'all don't talk about that on the ground. Or you don't talk about you getting robbed and calling the folks in to get y'all shit back. That's real life events. These true holy, true Chirac stories. Hey man, y'all already know what's going on, man. We back in this bitch, Chirac stories. You feel me? We in this joint, man. Where my light at, man? Where my light at, man. So boom. So um, clean up gang, pull up gang, donation gang. Y'all already know what's going on. All right, so boom. Gonna hop right up in this joint. So what we want to talk about today? We are gonna talk about we're going to talk about, rest in peace, Chino. We're going to talk about Meek Mill, and we're going to talk about this guy who killed Meek Mill's friend. And in self-defense, in self-defense, he killed him in self-defense. But what he's doing right now is unacceptable. You know what I'm saying? This not really about him having to defend himself because he had to defend himself. It is what it is. But this is about what he's doing right now. So, boom. Meek Mill had a friend by the name of Chino. And mind you, I'm putting all the links in the description so y'all can go see the real footage yourself. But Meek Mill had a uh, friend named Chino that was killed not too long ago, passed not too long ago. And the person who killed him Got it was self defense. He got off self defense, but the person who did that to Chino, he making videos about it now because people are trying to, uh, you know what I'm saying, demonize him. They trying to make him like look bad, like you you wrong, you feel me? So he want to clear his name. Just like the other day when I was making a video, I was like, I was saying this, I was saying this about the joint because people tried to, you know what I'm saying? Like people out here talking about shit. Stuff that they don't know about. So I'm like, bro, the killer's not always wrong, bro. The person who's on the ground could have killed, like, my grandmother, my sister, and my fucking, my brother. You feel me? And I'm getting back for, you just killed my grandmother, and I I'm, I just killed you because you killed my grandmother. You know what I'm saying? And most people's minds, that makes sense. You feel me? And some people minds, they be like, no, nah, leave it up to the law. But everybody don't think like that, bro. You know the type of relationship that urban community have with the law. You feel me? You think we're going to be relying on them for stuff? But, um, So this guy, he's uh he's on Instagram live with I don't know what he's on, but he's just um he's like letting people know that it wasn't his fault. Like he that's not what he intended to do. He intended to go there and network and just you know what I'm saying, parlay and more, you know, and just like you know what I'm saying, do him and just rock, you know what I'm saying, mingle in the crowd of these these people that he's around. So happen to be some famous people or connected to some famous people. And so I guess, I'm not sure, but I think Chino was maybe from Miami, maybe from Miami, you know? So, so Chino's chilling with the guy, and the guy said, like, Chino put the guy on camera, and then Chino, like, uploaded him to his Instagram, and the bro, the guy came over, like, seeing all his followers, he's like, oh, you must be famous, and, like, Chino was like, yeah, I'm famous, and then, like, the guy's talking to his homeboy, and then out of nowhere, Chino, like I said, I think he's from Miami. Out of nowhere, Chino gets up and said, it's bad voodoo in the air, and just start letting joints go. You feel me? Just start firing. You feel me? So, boom. Dude who was just like, you know what I'm saying, got posted on Instagram. He Like, the dude who I'm talking about right now, he getting hit all in his joint. You feel me? His homie got hit all in his joint. So... That's when he up to join the return fire and he ended up uh he ended up taking Chino's life. You feel me? But um what I wanna say to the guy is is that the government got so many loopholes, like the law got so many loopholes. I know you probably like relying on this double jeopardy this double jeopardy thing, right? Like, alright, I got the self defense already, like I can't be charged with this joke. But there's so many loopholes in the law system, bro. Like, you don't know, man, at the end of the day, you don't even want to play like that. At the end of the day, you don't even want to play like that. You don't even want to get online reenacting what happened to the public. You feel me? Because, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to play like that because they got so much, like, 
that's their system. That's their law system. Like, they can make a law tomorrow that says double jeopardy is not effective no more. And now you, now you on the line for this murder again. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you don't really want to play with them people like that. You got up in there. You got up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Unscathed. Just, you know what I'm saying? You, you made it. You made it. You feel me? They give, they give people life for, uh, murder. You know, they, they give people life for homicide. You know what I'm saying? So you just be the life sentence in a sense. So you shouldn't even be playing like that. So yeah, man, the link in the description, y'all go watch it for y'all self, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell me if y'all think he good or y'all think he shouldn't be playing like that. You feel me? Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to stories. Clean up game. Pull up game. Donation game. Everybody know what's going on, man. And that's a bitch. Cause I'm jealous. I only love my sister. I'm Zito. It's so bad. You can murder on me. We have a hit your block. It's fine. Let them get in there and learn. After you get your shirt, take a picture of you and your shirt and send it to me. Everybody who sent a picture of their shirt, I'm putting you in the beginning of every episode. So yeah, man. Everybody knows what's going on. We ain't forget about the ladies neither. You know? You feel me? Link in the description, man. Hey man, y'all already know what the fuck going on. So boom. Every Saturday I'm starting some shit called Shirak Shoutouts. It's basically dedicated to Donation Gang. Everybody who a part of Donation Gang, you send a donation, I'm writing your name down. You can send your Instagram. And what I'ma do is I'ma make an episode and everybody who motherfucking rock with the donation gang, I'ma motherfucking plug all y'all Instagrams up in the description. And goddamn it, I'ma just motherfucking go from top to bottom, all y'all names, and you feel me? It's gonna be a whole episode dedicated to Donation Gang. So y'all already know what the fuck going in. But get back to your video. I ain't mean the motherfucking. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Cut you off of your video and shit. You know what I'm saying? Gang shit. Though. All this other real shit y'all don't talk about that on the ground. Or you don't talk about you getting robbed and calling the folks in to get y'all shit back. That's real life events. These true hooli, true Chirac stories. 